Spectacular Sydney Harbour bathed in sunshine for this, our crescendo. Jack, what can we expect from out on the water today? She is absolutely sparkling today, Nick. Uh, we've got 15 to 18 knots. It is absolutely glamorous conditions for the superfoilers today. It's a building sea breeze. We will have 15 to 18 knots, maybe a touch more at the end of the day for the last race. But uh, 26 degrees, it is just magic out here on Sydney Harbour. Absolutely, they've weaved a stunning day. This is our front runner, Tess Parkinson, a massive day on the waters of Sydney. 37 seconds, Parker. Yep. Trim up, trim up, Trav. Everyone setting up for a bow on bow start, getting their position. Keep flow, boys. Olivia saying she needs to keep flow so that she's got some steerage. 40 metres. Copy that. Go, boys, go. Go, go. Calling the final acceleration. Ease, 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 ease. Okay, here we go. And one of the more tense starts we've seen here, Tess. Everyone on the same line at the moment. Yeah, you can see ID and Pavement have had a nice start. And Tech 2 also in the front row. Record point really sending it out to the left here. Here we go. Yeah, Phil Robinson's had an absolute glamour start there, taking off from the pin, and he's got room to put his bow down and let it rip. This is such a difficult racetrack. There's so much traffic out on the harbour, and these guys, 18 knots, they're really up and flying. They've got to sail up to the top mark four times in this race. This is amazing stuff. Phil Robinson off to a really good start, and Euroflex getting absolutely gassed from their position on the line. They can't tuck out. They're really, really stuck at the moment down there with clean mate. This is the pressure of a grand final Euroflex starting to get the wobbles and record point and Tech 2 pouncing at the front of this race at the moment. Doing nice work here. Tell me when he puts his bow to go below me, OK? I don't want him going below me. Super tight racing here. The skippers have got so much on. They're managing the pitch of the boat through the lift in the foils, where they're tracking relative to all these boats on the harbour and trying to communicate with the team and keep this boat going quick. There is so much going on. There are landmines plenty out there. You just want to stay clear of these other machines. As these zoom across, you can see just how cluttered it is. There's a traffic jam down there. Here we go. Building speed again. You can hear, Nate, their building speed here. So he's got a big job to do. He's split out from the fleet. You can see how difficult it is to get stability in these boats with the gusty conditions and so much unstable air from all the boats on the harbour. But onboard ID here on starboard, record point tacking onto port, coming back towards the top mark for the first time. Okay, let's go. And it's so apparent, Tess, just how fast going it is out there at the moment. Record Point has the lead ahead of Euroflex and Tech 2 with ID in fourth. Whoa, this is some really great boat handling at the moment. Yeah, you've got to have eyes, 360 degree vision to be able to sail these boats safely around. And you can see how they're trying to get that middle hull just skimming above the waterline. Going below them. Oh, this is going to be close with record point here. This is absolutely unbelievable racing. There's so many boats on the harbour and they've got to navigate their way through it. This is the challenges we are talking about. It's the same for everyone. You need to make the most of it. It's all about managing risk out on the race course. Yeah, left turn. 100% left, you right? Yes. Tech 2 doing the best job of that at the moment. They've leapt into first position right now. Worth going to lay on a... And driving. The most important part of any race is the first 30 seconds. That's where you set yourself up. That's where you find the clear air. And you can see Record Point absolutely smoking. So in their own groove, Phil's doing an amazing job just flying that middle hull above the water. Not too high, not too low. And it's a great dogfight between Record Point and Tech 2 at the moment. We can see Euroflex just off their best. Quite soft at the moment. Clean made ducking behind Euroflex on port. I think I think we'll go inside tacking inside tech two here. Trim have you got? Trims have you got? Record point needs max speed here to close gauge two, on tech two. One, twenty. Still oh, stairs are there. It's all right. Let's go fast. Well, wheels up. East, east, Jim. A great scramble there from Phil Robinson using all his match racing experience. He's just rolled over the top Here of Tech go. 2. Big trims, boys. 
Big trim. A cushion of three seconds at the moment over Tech 2. This is a nice little battle here. Really close. Right. Start the boat, start the boat. Here we go. Yeah, look, any any deceleration when the boat hits the water like that is going to be massive. Someone's doing over 30 knots and suddenly you're doing 10. You know, the meters really stack up. And Phil just absolutely lit here, sending it down the harbour. He's just trying to keep that middle hull skimming. If he gets too high, he can crash and burn. And if he gets too low, those meters are just going to get eaten up. Record Point have done an awesome first work there. We've got Neil Hunter on the bow, Driving Sam up, Phillips on main sheet, and Tech 2's not leaving anything behind. They're pushing the boat to the limit. I know Luke Parkinson, and if I know one thing, he's going to put the foot down and he's going to absolutely send it. He's going to taste blood. Two, one, go forward. Will Phillips there, putting that windward foil down. They're setting up for a jive. Two, standby drive. Two, one, driving. The sea stayed out here at the moment, not because of all the spectator craft, but look at this. We're good, we're good, we're good. I think they're going to save it. Oh. Oh, Sorry, boys. Yeah, we need a tack. Yep. Great save. The test, they're not out of the woods yet. Clean made, they'll fight on. Will they survive? We'll find out soon. Above. This is the battle to watch at the moment. Tech 2, they've got their eyes on the championship. They lead record in, point. Will. A little more lift, please, Will. Importantly, they are also Wait ahead down, of the series front runner Euroflex at this stage. This is massive overall. Jibin, strap me down. Wait out a little as well. The test record points just hit the lead and they're making light work of it now. Copy. I think we can go straight here now, Two. eh? One, driving. It's a tricky race course. They've got to jive and converge back through the middle gate on the downwind. And Tech 2 just struggling a little through that jive. They've got to steer up, build speed, get the boat lifted out of the water. Probably that. Yep. Okay, wait for it, guys. This racing's so much about managing risk. I think we should jive, yeah. Stand by. Two, one, go, boys. Yeah, Phil has Sorry. pinned his ears back here yeah. and he is off. He is not looking back. He is just going to keep on sending it down the harbour to the bottom gate. All boarding here? Yep. You've really got to focus inside your own boat as to what's going on for you. You can't worry too much about the rest of the fleet. So interesting to see here. All the foils are down. That's going to get them a slightly lower mode, slightly more controlled Go mode. Above him. Ease, ease, ease for me. Ease, ease main. Keep it down. The more runway you have, the more power you put into the boat, the faster these boats go. Better left than the women forward. So you've got to manage when you can handle that speed or when you've got to play it safe. Just going to lane. And a massive job in front of them now. Euroflex, the series leader, watching record point disappear. He's he's, he's everything. And Phil stuffed the lured band. Tech yeah. 2 is going to be straight over the Wait top in, here. Well, Wait in. Wait in, Aiden. Trim on. Well, this is massive for Tech 2 there. Really in a series race against Euroflex, and now they're putting dirt. Guys, guys. Left turn. On Wait their in. biggest Stand competitor. By. Good ley line into the bottom gate. Back in, mate. Mate. Beautiful, guys. Well managed. Yeah, Luke Parkinson sailing absolutely out of his skin here. He's taken the lead off Phil, and Phil's going to split to that right hand right. gate. Jeff. Get it from it. Arius, mate. Jill Robertson just having a bit of bad luck with the other boats on the harbour here, having to navigate his way through. Yeah, we're launched here. Well, that's something that sailor won't forget for a very long time. The world champion, give him an absolute spray. Here's Euroflex just battling their way through all these boats in the harbour. Nathan Adams is just going to have to pull something out here. His back's against the wall at the moment. OK, is so anyone to come up? Euroflex are in third, some 44 seconds behind Tech 2, our race leader, with record point in between them, Tess. Yeah, they're on the second upwind now, and Nick, you can see the difference when they really get the boats flying and when they decelerate and slow down. So it's all about going as quick as you can for the highest amount of time around this racetrack. 
Luke Parkinson will be spying record point. He can see they're just disappearing out of view. He'll have a bead drawn on those guys and he'll be ready to pull the trigger. And look how close they are and how quickly the gap closes down between our first and second at the moment. It's all right, it's all right, mate. Don't worry, he can't. It's Sydney Harbour, bro. That's it. That's part of the game. We've got to hold. Pretty funny there, Luke shutting Aiden down, Hang saying, on. hey, there's the heaps of boats, there's nothing we can do about it. Okay, Judge. So on their way back to the top mark, they've got to go through the middle gate, that start-finish line. Nice, guys. Beautiful, Aiden. And we're going to see another close Big cross Aiden. here between record point and tech two. Really nice tack, guys. These boats are so difficult when they're not foiling. Everything's in sync Ducking and in balance in. once they're up, but it's so difficult to get going. This is a wicked race. Yeah. Here we go. Big trim. Great idea of just how close this battle is. Yeah, perfect work there by Phil. He knew it was going to be close and he just had to put the foot down and get it on the foils. Be careful, Neil, on strapping that jib in too much, mate. Phil saying to Neil, he wants the jib eased. He needs to build power, get the hole lifted. Then when they're going quick, you can sheet it on. We're going to have to take this next one left. Unfortunately, it's going to be two tacks for us. Okay, ready? Hang on a little further. Some calm audio there from Luke Parkinson, the skipper of Tech 2, the big West Australian, nice and relaxed. A penny for the thoughts of Euroflex. They would be panicking at this stage. Okay, the fleet's converging. They're coming through that middle gate on this upwind. Yeah, look, it's all happening on the harbour. It looks so busy from where we're sitting. This is, I can't imagine how hard it would be on the water to navigate all these obstacles. Here we go. Better pressure out on the left. Happy to lower the tempo a little late. Two more laps. Interesting comment from Luke there, saying he's happy to lower the tempo. Good, man. Don't need to push the boat so hard. There's a long way to go. They've still got another two laps. And especially without Sam Newton, the regular bowman there, they'll be really struggling. Bit under power, pavement clean made, ID all racing further back here as ID buzzes the big spectator tower there. We've got Ed Powers back on the bow and Fang Warren on the main coming in close to that spectator boat and clean mate, they've got a nice lane on the upwind. Great comeback from them, they were almost upside down, now they're in fourth position, eyeing off Euroflex in third. Clean mate's doing an awesome job. Josh McKnight, the Moth World Champion in the middle. Harry Morton, the 49er crew on the bow. And let's not forget Olivia Price, Jimmy. Copy, the London Olympic gold medalist. Two, one. Olivia's done a lot of sailing on this harbour. She knows the water space well. She's grown up sailing here, training on the 49er and back on board with Euroflex, working hard. We've got Harry Miguel on the bow for the first time and they've done well to sail back into third. Yeah, look, Nate's a master and he does love a challenge, so you can see how nice the job he's doing here, just foiling the boat when he has to and just having a kissing when he doesn't. He doesn't want to spend too much depth just foiling off the track. Very European there, Jimmy. Lots of kissing very frequently, but just the right amount. Look at them go. Record points soaring now. Agree. Probably just drive earlier next time, eh? And four pointing down there. These guys all have their right, limit. To get into the zone here, eh? Of that. Oh, boys, our rotators right out, eh? But leave it, leave it, leave it. Come on, we're going down one. But let's be on top of that a little more. The mast rotators all the way out, but they've opted to leave it because they're close to that bear away where you ease it out on the downwind. This is pavement. They won a race yesterday. They're battling for fifth today. Board down. Uh, we'll try and rough it away first. Phil Robertson on record point is just going to blow the doors off this top mark and absolutely trim, trim, send it back trim, trim, downwind. Trim, trim, everything, trim. Trim main. Rake in. That's good. Go to three. Stand by. Two, one, go board. We've got a split here on the downwind. Tech two rounding the left. Record point went around the right. Board don't clean it. Board don't. Oh, yeah. Sorry, bad pump on that. 
And stand by Tremont. It's high stake stuff for Tech 2. They're 22 seconds of drift record point. The question is, can anyone catch the flying Phil Robertson? Yeah, go below here. The classic covering move there from Phil, rounding the opposite gate to Tech 2, immediately jiving to get back in sync. What he's trying to do is stay between oh, Tech 2 and the bottom gate. Yeah, it's a nice move there. He's rounded the right mark, jived yeah, immediately, so he's got that lured leverage position. Why is there, eh? Hey, Aiden, get your weight back, brother. Cheers, bro. This is supreme super foiling. They're doing exactly what they were designed to do, and that is Where's fly. Phil. Now, here we go. Now, we'll be looking at a jive in about 10. Yeah, so here. Yep. When it gets flat. There's nothing in it. Euroflex has really closed the gap here, so they're definitely taking metres away yep. and they've got some speed. There's so much to think about when you want to jive. You want to jive where the water's That's the it. flattest. Stay with it. Good work. Where you can sail the longest distance before having to jive again. And Glenn Ashby. Caught up slowly, nice. Very good, boys. Hooking up out of that jive. Oh, yeah, record point. Once again, going for that three point foiling. Got, got some big ferry weight yeah. to chop through there, but Phil's just going to get it on the foils and he'll be off to the bottom mark. Jump out, board. Copy. But Neil Hunt has never got that up close and personal to a ferry before. Pointing straight through the line. Copy. I don't know if we'll make it, but keep an eye on it. Yeah, ease a little. Just and now all of a sudden he's doing it in the middle of a really yeah, thrilling race, Jimmy. It's all done. happening out there at the moment. Epic shots here. Phil Robinson doing over 30 knots downwind. Three foils absolutely sending it through all the ferry wake, all the chop of the harbour, dodging boats, sailing through the gusts and lulls. Yeah, and we're going for a drive. Go board. This is amazing stuff from Phil Robinson. Two. Yeah. One. Here we go. Boards up! Boards up! Boards up! Leave us board! Go boy! Massive problem there. The board that they've jived onto has fired up, the rope slipped out of the cleat and that's going to cost at least 100 metres I'd imagine. That could be Tech 2 through but we'll have to see how close it is at the bottom gate. Can record point hold on or will Tech 2 steam through? We'll find out next. Trim, trim up Record point romping along in the lead of this race right now. Going above that little one. The Kiwi's the man to catch. Little East, this is our angle yet. There you see Glenny Ashby putting his back into it, doing a big yep. trim on that main sheet. And Nath just sailing straight through to Lua to Tech 2, so there we go. Euroflex into second. Rolling and nice drive here. Jiving through the middle gate on the downwind. Tech 2 are on a bit of a runner here. Yep. And Euroflex have built speed as well. It's all about having runway in these boats and a clean lane. We're going way past this red mark. Past the red mark? Yeah, that's the lay way down there. Euroflex rolling to second and record points still holding on. Big ventilation there on the foils, down, just crashing soon. down. Not ideal yep. before you go for a job. Harry Mile on that board drop, and they're going to have to sprint through the boat here. Oh, that was really close there for Euroflex. They're having a really testing day today. Oh, board! Driving back, driving, driving! <laughs> Neil, you've got to land those, brother. Board up, going straight. Always nice to have a swear word and brother back to back. Easy everything. Easy everything. Ready to go, boys? Here we go. Three, two, one. Sorry. So here we go, Phil Robinson, he's the first at the bottom gate, he's still in the lead. You see Euroflex, they're still coming down, we have one more job to do. Obviously not laying. Hear from Nathan there, not laying, means he's not going to make it to this bottom gate. We're jiving soon. Go board. Is there any better sight in world sailing than seeing Sydney Harbour skyline there shimmering in the background as we see Tech 2 and Euroflex tangle one another? This battle for second is alive and well. Leave the board. Hey. Leave the board. And you saw there Glenn Ashby just smoking through the boat here. He's uh, here we go. going a bit faster than usual, knows he's got some work to do. And Tech 2 slipped back into second, so Euroflex, here we go. nasty bottom mouth grounding here, having to do too many manoeuvres. Sorry about that, I should have said a double job there. 
me, boy. Go, Trevor, up here. Yeah, they're going to have to split here, and you can hear Nathan there just apologising for this situation at the bottom mark. Too many manoeuvres, too slow. One cool thing about this racetrack, you can go out really wide and you can separate a lot from the rest of the fleet. You can see Tech 2 and Euroflex are splitting here. Tech 2 heading out to the right, Euroflex going out to the left. Nick, we've seen there's more pressure on the left so far on this course today. Nice downwind, guys. That was pretty loose. Here there, Luke Park saying it's pretty loose, and if Luke's saying that, you know it's pretty loose. These guys are sailing the boat so close to the limit, they're right on the verge of being in control. Stand by. Going fast. Okay, go forward. Two. One. Things are on a knife edge on the Super Foiler, and at the moment, record point have that knife dangling beautifully. Above this guy. Go hard. Oh. Going below, going below. Going below. Ease. Bearing away behind a slower boat. It's a pretty high risk Big manoeuvre here, but they're in good control. Big Old meets new, advantage new. See you later, history. This is the future. The boys are flying at the moment. OK, here we go. And you can see Euroflex have got that pressure out on the left we were talking about, Nick. Nice, boys. They're on a roll here. They're making good gains into second place. It was definitely the right call there, Tess. You picked it and Euroflex have nailed it. Although, yet again, we see Tech 2 build speed and this time it looks like the boat all the way in the distance will soon fall behind them. What beautiful stuff from Tech 2. Bobby, a little faster please, Aiden. Tech 2 always look to have nice boat control and they're enjoying the sailing. They're always in the moment. Will Phillips doing an awesome job on the bow. Here's Nathan just missing the back of their boat. Really interesting, but Tech 2's going to have to stick this tack if they want to make this option work. And looks like Euroflex is through underneath. Oh, superb stuff there from Nathan Outerich. It was like he's at the seafood buffet and he's run as fast as he can past Tech 2. This battle continues and it really is of such massive consequence for the series because Euroflex, they lead the series, but Tech 2 can dislodge them. And Jimmy at the moment, Euroflex certainly rising to the challenge. Of these two teams, who's going to win the series? It's who beats who. So that's how close it is. And that middle gate there that both teams had to go through is just bringing the boats together on the course. As CJ just splits the middle on his way downwind. There's a good saying, Nick, you got to sail it like you stole it, like a stolen car. And you can see how these guys are just giving it everything. The physical demand on the bow there, Harry really ripping up that foil. Phil Robinson at record point, really holding his own here, out to 200 metre lead. Yeah, I know. We're in good shape. And the Kiwi would be loving this, seeing the two heavyweights. Go, two, one. Of Tech 2 and Euroflex throw punch after Jackie. punch. And that just leaves Phil Robinson unscathed, Jack. It's one ding dong battle on Sydney Harbour. Very tight battle between those two, Nick, but you know who's doing the best record point? They keep banging the left side and they keep getting further away. And uh, I noticed with the ID ship being so far back, they've been uh, having some ventilation issues with one of their boards. I think they may have done some bad fairing this morning. And so they're, they're struggling with touching down quite often and that's why they're hanging back a fair way. But great battle at the front of the fleet. It's critical that your equipment's right up to speed. Any little imperfection, especially on the foils, could make a big difference to your boat speed. So maybe pavement and definitely ID are just having some foil issues. What about this from Tech 2? Where's the Euroflex? They're closing the gap on record point at the moment. So just as Phil Robertson thought he had a bit of breathing space, all of a sudden he's got a little bit of asthma because Euroflex and Tech 2 are both coming for him. 250 metres, less than that, adrift as we see pavement continue the fight forward. Phil's just doing such a good job of Stand just by. keeping that middle hole kissing, foiling sometimes, not in others. The perfect mix between height and speed. OK, bow's coming down. Might have overcooked this a little bit. Sorry, right, Trim. Maybe not. You can see in the top of your screen how close Tech 2 and Euroflex are. Yeah. Phil Robertson on record point. Middle of the picture, he's got that top gate lined up. There's going to be pressure on for this yeah. bear away. Trimming in, trimming on. Everything out here, boys. The 
Phil Robertson, he's just sailing his own race at the moment. He's going to really soak this in unless another spectator craft gets in the way. What about this for some gorgeous pitches? We can see Euroflex is in second and Tech 2 third. This is really close at the moment. And at the moment, Euroflex probably just with a sniff over Tech 2. Right turn. Tech 2 deciding to round the right mark. Same mark as Euroflex, splitting from record point. Go board. And we'll glide it out here. Rounding that right mark. Oh, and going for the early jibe should mean you've got Go a board. longer runway on starboard. Nice. Well, yep. Driving. Well, Tech 2 seen the mistake and they'll be quick to capitalise here. Up, got major issues back here. I'll get it, I'll get it. The trapeze okay, wires yeah. caught around that back stay. But it's all right, they're on the downwind. The skipper doesn't need to trapeze. Here we go. Glenn's looks to be tangled as well. We're up. Trim it up. Tech 2 are attacking from behind here. They're sailing a higher angle. They've got more pace and they've just rolled over Euroflex. You've got to be quick to capitalise, and they've done just that, Tess. Yeah, perfect move there by Tech 2 and Nathan Aldridge. Just having some issues there. Not sure what's gone wrong, but he's struggling to foil. He's going to have to sort it out quick. He's on the final leg. I'll tell you what's gone wrong, Jimmy. He's just opened the door for Tech 2, and they've just blasted their way through. Luke Parkinson is going to seize this opportunity. Next up, record point. Go, boys. This is to the finish. OK. Final downwind leg. As soon as that bow went up, Phil knew it was going to come crashing down. Wait in. Just building, building, racing, racing. Their lead now in jeopardy as Tech 2 lick their lips. Stand by board down, please. And here you go, eating up the metres on record point. 110, 100, 90 metres. He's just absolutely flying into record point. Nice. Stand by. Two, one. Driving big easers. Oh, all good, all good. Driving everything on. Ease. Tricky conditions out here. Coming now. Okay, trimming now. Wait out, Neil. Go and trimming, big trimming on everything. Oh, look at this. It's yeah, gone all sorry. wrong for record point. Black to Lewis. And Tech 2, like an arrow. Yeah, I know you are. Is slinging past on the way, way to the Will target. See, William Tell style. Oh, yeah, she loose. <laughs> Yo! Loving it. I love this. Copy that. Sending it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! And such a cruel sport sometimes. Oh, yeah. Stand by foil drive for the boys. Go board. But to the victor go the spoils. Race one on Saturday. Stand by. Three, two, one. Belongs to Tech Two. Driving. That is absolutely epic racing from the lads there. Yeah, doing such a good job. Close finish now on between record point and Euroflex. Stopping. In you come. Finish. And record point have just scraped through in second. This place is a Close to sell these finish. boats. Yes. Short and course. And Nathan Outeridge. And Phil Robertson trying to outdo each other with a swear jar tally. Phil Robertson's just tripped at the final hurdle there, stuffing the bows in, pushing too hard. He knew that Luke Parkinson was coming at him, and Luke has just gone straight by it. The agony. Sorry, boys. And the ecstasy for our victors as well. Two totally different tales. My heart's out here, but my balls are down there. <laughs> That's a technical sailing turn there from Luke Parkinson, talking about yeah, cojones and what it takes to win. And we see Pavement are still battling on. They're eyeing off fourth place at the moment. They want to finish ahead of ID and Clean Made. And Jack McCartney is down there with our race winner. That was uh, one hell of a last run. Yeah, mate, that was loose. You know, we just uh, we identified it was a moment to risk and we, we sent it, you know. We got the little sniff of jibe on, uh, on Nathan, the Euroflex guys, and then um, 
we managed it quite well and uh, managed to get our nose in front for the finish. Because there's so many bumps and people coming onto the course, so you read it well. We're going bloody quick. Our hearts are out here and the boys have amazing trust, so uh, looking forward to the next one. Thanks, Luke. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I'll just calm down before the next one. Luke Parkinson's looking forward to it. So we, we can see now that pavement has crossed ahead of ID underneath the Sydney Harbour Bridge. An iconic backdrop and an iconic collapse there from record point. Jack McCartney has the wash up. Mate, that was a bit of bad luck. It looked like you overcooked the uh, ley line coming in the last time. Yeah, we didn't overcook it. We actually just had a little bit on with a the ferry there for a while. We sort of crossed in front of him and needed to jive back in front of him again and couldn't do it. And had to come up behind him and we sort of got all chicken winged up and couldn't get it all set up and going again. So a little disappointing, but hey, second's still good and we were thumping it before that. Bit of a welcome to Sydney Harbour, eh, mate? <laughs> oh, mate, it's horrid, I tell you. There's so many boats out and it's just a constant battle to try and stay in front of the traffic. So, yeah, we're battling out there and uh, saying some choice words to a few boaties, but it's all good. That's what Sydney Harbour's all about. Well done, Phil. Yeah, good. Nice one. A oh, fantastic race. One of the high points of the Sydney regatta already. Tech 2 finishing on top ahead of record point Neuroflex with pavement in fourth position. After four races here at the Express Superfoiler Grand Final, it's Tech 2 on top of Euroflex. That is absolutely massive with pavement just one behind. We'll hit the afterburners. There's more racing coming up okay, on the yeah. other side of this. Ah, Black the mood. Oh yeah! 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 Woo!